Welcome, Arden Jennings at Ausbilt, to this in brief for the Inside Network. Thank you so much for joining us over in Queenstown for the Investment Leaders Forum. Rich series of uh, conversations, some insights, a lot of collaboration and collegiate atmosphere. What did you learn from talking to those investment leaders from across the advice community? Yeah, thanks for having me, firstly. Um, it certainly is a challenging landscape, um, obviously with significant volatility, gripping markets. Um, no one's alone here. Um, everybody was um, agreeing that it has been a challenging environment. Um, so one of the other key takeaways was obviously um, advisors looking for more uncorrelated asset classes as an opportunity going forward, but they're certainly wary of um, the liquidity considerations that that also uh, entails. Um, probably lastly as well, advisors and consultants, they're still very cautious. So there's plenty of cash on the sidelines still. Everyone's pretty defensive. Um, they're certainly not uh, diving into Australian small caps at the moment, but there is certainly growing interest uh, for that opportunity. And so one of the things that's fascinating in that small cap space is we're in reporting season. Data, you're going to get a deluge of it, but I'd imagine the rest of the year is challenging. It's a heterogeneous space in terms of coverage. How do you try to navigate that? Yeah, it, it certainly is incredibly important, data and information for us. Um, you know, we have a really strong company visitation program. You know, we're out on the road seeing as many companies as we can. You know, we acknowledge that, you know, intelligence is a commodity in many industries and um, that is the same in funds management, but hard work certainly goes a long way. So we like to get out and find out and try and uncover as many opportunities as possible and, and use, um, you know, the information and data that companies can give to us, not just through financial reports, but speaking with management teams as well to marry that up. And you're looking for the very best opportunities. That potentially skews towards certain sectors. How do you try to think about your profile as a whole portfolio? Are you agnostic about where a business sits with its sector or do you try to think about that diversification piece? Yeah, we certainly diversify the portfolio. However, what I would say is um, we have a four-stage process at Ausbill, um across all the funds. Uh, and first stage macroeconomic analysis, uh, we focus on the top down. And for us, you know, that's only about 10% of the input into the process, uh, a bit larger for large caps, obviously, um, you know, but that's just used to identify risks um, and opportunities within particular sectors. Um, so, you know, for us, that's our starting point and that can direct our research efforts. Um, but, you know, predominantly we are 90% bottom up fundamental and then obviously provide, you know, um, putting across that, you know, portfolio construction to make sure we have a well-rounded risk aware portfolio. So you touched a little bit on that process. Do you look at it, Arden, as being an art, a science, or a bit of a blend? Yeah, definitely a bit of a blend. Uh, I'd certainly say there's more art than science in small caps relative to large caps. Clearly, we're backing management teams here, um, but we also need to marry up the science, obviously, with uh, the art. You know? So from the science perspective, we're modeling out each of our companies for P&L, cash flow, balance sheet, you know, the segments in how they're turning a dollar revenue into a profit. That's really important to be able to pick the upgrades and hopefully avoid the downgrades. Um, so, you know, we are very much um, driven by the science, but you've got to marry that up as well with the art of markets to be able to identify, you know, those next uh, big success stories. So we had a special little trip and activity, series of experiences across three days. What would you like now, the key takeaway for B, to be for those delegates that come back, that back in their practices, what would you like them to remember from your contribution to the conversation? Yeah, the, the, the time is now to really review your Australian small cap asset allocation. Um, you know, 2022 was a really tough year. Small caps fell 18% over the calendar year. So it's certainly been challenging as we saw a multiple D rate with the fastest rate hiking cycle in history, but also inflation come through and hit small companies that weren't able to adjust their cost bases um, and raise prices. So that impacted margins and resulting in earning downgrades to come through. So we've had a multiple D rate. The earnings downgrades have come through, uh, but what we've seen now is that small caps relative to large caps are trading at a significant discount to their long-term history, and we see that as a really compelling opportunity, especially when there's still growth on offer. So small industrials, uh, the growth in FY24 is um, double that of the large industrials. So you've got a discount on valuation, uh, but also you know superior growth on offer. So. You know, then now, now's the time really to um, look at look at small caps, uh, your asset allocation. There you go. There's your call to action. Thanks so much for joining this in brief. Thank you very much, Arden Jennings. Thank you.